Hey guys, I'm Jamie with Northwoods Whitetails and I'm gonna make you my favorite venison dish. Um, it's an open-faced veni sandwich and we're gonna get started tonight by taking the venison loin and we're gonna just trim off any of the major fatty pieces on it. So as you know, venison is one of the most lean red meats there is. So there isn't a whole lot to trim off of the loin, but it's best to just get as much or as much off as possible so that way there, when you're eating the open face sandwich, you're not having to get it stuck in your teeth. So after I get all of the fatty pieces off of the loin, I'm gonna take them and I'm gonna put them in a side dish for Remy, our shed dog, later. She always enjoys a little venison and I would say six months out of the year on and off, that is her main dish. So she eats as much venison as we do. Okay, so now that I've got most of those fatty pieces off of the loin, I'm going to begin brining it. First, I'm gonna brine it with brown sugar. Just pat the sugar right into the loin. Brown sugar is a nice addition for brining because it just adds a little sweetness to it. And I'm going to Add some salt. Add some pepper. Next we add onion powder. And then we do garlic powder. So once you've got your loin all brined, we're gonna come over to the stove top. We're gonna to start the burner. And we're gonna get the frying pan warmed up. I cook with butter and I'm not afraid of butter. So this adds a lot more flavor to your meat. So we're gonna let that warm up for a second. Um, I washed all of our cilantro and scallions. So this is what's going to be next on the agenda once the loin is cooked. We're going to take a bunch of the cilantro and scallions, put them on the cutting board, just prep these. Okay, so our oven's warm and I'm gonna put the baguette in the oven. Um, this recipe specifically calls for the baguette, so after it's warmed and cooked, I'm gonna take this out and slice it into little slices so that we can make our baby open face sandwiches. <clears throat> All right. Butter's warming up. We're going to take the loin. We're gonna just turn that up for a minute. We're gonna sear it on each side. Flip it over, sear it on the other side. All right, now we're gonna turn the frying pan down to low. And we're just gonna let that cook on each side for about two minutes each. And while that's cooking, <clears throat> we're gonna come over here to the cutting board. We're gonna chop up 
our scallions and cilantro. So I like to just chop the scallions once, and then I take the cilantro and I just put it right on top and I just chop it again. Right over top of the scallions because we're gonna mix it all in anyway. We're gonna roll the venison loin over. We're gonna let that cook on this side for a couple minutes. And now we're gonna open my favorite Cabot sharp cheddar cheese. So the flavor of this cheese to me is what makes this whole dish. <clears throat> so as I slice it, I'm just gonna do really thin slices that we're gonna lay over top of the baguette. Oops, we'll still use that piece. there. Okay, so now we're gonna take the baguette. This is really a little bigger than a baguette, but this is all they had today at the store, so we're gonna go with it. So we're gonna cut this in thin slices. You know, to be honest, the bread is not crispy enough for my liking, so I'm going to throw this back on the pan. and we're just gonna brown it up a little bit. Okay, so now we're gonna just check our venison loin. Let's see, I'm just gonna use this guy. Just gonna cut into it a little bit to see where we're at. Oh yeah, we've got a little bit longer. So I'm going to flip this again. We're just gonna let that baby go. One of the sides is a little bit thicker, so probably needs a little bit more than two minutes on this side. Some of the thinner strips, two minutes is sufficient, but we're gonna go a little longer. So we're just gonna wait for the baguette. So this is gonna be a nice medium rare loin. We're gonna take this out. We're gonna place it on the cutting board and we're gonna allow it to cool for a few minutes. It's much easier to cut once it's cooled just a little bit and then it also just cooks a little bit more. Okay, so I think these are ready. We're gonna pull these out. Slice, thin slices the loin. It's perfect, medium rare. Okay, so then we're going to take our pieces of bread and line them out. I like to take a little bit of olive oil 
whatever kind of olive oil you like. And then we're gonna put our cheese right over the baguette. And then we lay the venison right over top. That nice juice on there. And then you take your cilantro and scallion mixture and you just Drizzle it right over it. And this is the finished open-faced Vinny sandwich. So this is our Vinny open-faced sandwich and I hope you enjoyed this episode and hope that you come back for future episodes. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to come back and check out more fun recipes in the future.